it's Julia and I am back with a regular makeup video. I've been doing Halloween looks. I am doing a 90s trend look, kind of inspired by the 90s but giving it a slightly more modern spin as someone who grew up in the 90s, like I was a young kid in the 90s, I definitely experienced some of these makeup trends firsthand. I wasn't really into makeup so much back then. I mean, I was a really young kid back then, but um, I definitely, like growing up, uh, noticed some of these trends. It's kind of funny how they're kind of coming back. So I'm gonna show you uh, two different versions of this. Well, the eyes are the same, and then two different lip looks. I think it's great for fall because it's using a lot of brown tones, and it's very, very matte. That was really the key back then. Very, very matte makeup, everything. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoy this 90s <laughs> take back and um, let's get started. Um, I'm first going to use this eyeshadow by Catrice, Velvet Matte Eyeshadow in Vanilla Tea Fair. I really, really like these eyeshadows. They're like matte texture, kind of, they're not really matte. They're more satin actually, so the name is a little bit deceiving. They're so pigmented. Um, especially this one. This is such a great highlighter and I'm just kind of applying that underneath my brow and the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to be working with a lot of matte eyeshadows so when I'm blending out these kind of darker brown colors it's going to be a lot easier um, to blend them out so that they don't look chunky and weird. Next shadow that I'm going to use is actually one by Makeup Geek and it's this one called Barcelona Beach. I think this is one of her new ones. It's a matte again. Just picking that up with a Sigma E40 brush. I'm just going to buff that into the crease because I want a little bit of definition there. Oh my gosh, guys, so much has been happening in my life. Um, I have so many wedding updates that I need to share with you guys because I did like a wedding video ages and ages ago and so much has changed. I can't even tell you this wedding planning. <laughs> it's just been... It's just been kind of up and down, like so many things have just changed in our plans, like what we originally wanted and it's kind of crazy. So I really need to film a video on that because a lot of you guys have been asking for an update and I don't know when I will do that. I'm kind of busy with Halloween right now, but I definitely want to do some kind of a wedding update. I think I'll probably just upload it on this channel. So the next color is from the Amrezi palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm going to use this one right here. It's called Caramel. It's a very warm toned brown. And I'm just going to apply that straight onto my eyes. And actually, one of my inspirations for this video was Star Trek The Next Generation. So that was like a huge show in the 90s and I used to watch that like religiously. It was one of my favorite TV shows on at the time. Deanna Troy and <laughs> Dr. Crusher, um, sh they had very, very 90s makeup. Like even though it was supposed to be futuristic, it was supposed to be sort of, oh, I'm in space and uh, in the future, um, their makeup was extremely 90s. I think I use another Makeup Geek shadow and it's this one and it's called Mocha, another matte. Yeah, definitely the makeup at that time was extremely matte. There was really not very much sort of shimmer and action going on like that. Makeup has changed a lot since then. Now it's very much into the nudes. Like now nudes are just so popular. Um, very sort of barely there it looks. If you look at what's going on on the runways, it's all like very, very nude looks. I think it's kind of just boring to be honest. I mean, I guess people just want to look natural, which is fine, but when you work doing makeup, it kind of gets boring to always do nudes. I don't know. Carving out that crease a little bit more using that slightly darker color. Then I also went in with this eyeshadow, which I showed recently. It's from Makeup Factory, another uh, drugstore one. This is amazing quality. This is the matte eyeshadow, and I think it's called Smoky Black. Um, it's number 03. It's not black. It's a dark brown. I'm really impressed by it. Like, look at that pigmentation. Crazy. Let's just blend that out. Kind of working on that outer V area. I think I went back in with that earlier color from Makeup Geek. It's Barcelona Beach again. And going to layer that on the lower lid. Just kind of buffing out the lower part a little bit. I definitely remember a lot of eyeliner pencils. There really wasn't too much of that liquid liner cat eye look going on back then. It was very much just pencils. So I'm going to use just a plain brown pencil. This is by Quo. I'm just going to place that really close to my lash line. 
but I definitely remember a lot of pencil action back then. Pencil action. I remember the super like brown lip liner and then nude or like not nude. It was kind of a caramelly brown, but really, really light color inside. And that was like a super trend for a hot minute there. And so many girls in my high school wore that. And also the brown lipstick, which I'm going to do a version of, but it was just like, I went to high school during that time. And that was, I think the first lipstick I ever bought for myself was by this brand called Ultima. Do you guys remember that? And they had this one lipstick that was like very brown kind of a reddish brown color and i was like a young girl at that time like really young girl and i was wearing this like super heavy dark brown lipstick to school i'm going to take some of that um eyeshadow from earlier on an angled brush and just kind of layer that on top this is also to help fill in any gaps that i might have missed with that very hard pencil like i can't believe i wore brown lipstick and now i'm doing a look that is like super 90s inspired which is kind of hilarious because i always thought that makeup back then was like really bad trends they kind of get recycled you know kylie jenner with her lips um it's kind of 90s although her lips i don't really find are super super 90s but she definitely kind of inspired a lot of people to kind of take a look again at those brownish shades, which were really popular in the 90s. And sticking with that brown theme, I'm taking a brown mascara. This is the one by Un, the 100% Natural Origin Mascara, Eyes Only Volume. I remember like so many of my friends having brown mascara. For blush, I used this one by Sleek Makeup, and this is the Nude Blush in suede number 921 kind of looks like that going to apply that kind of onto actually my cheekbone area if that makes any sense but i'm just going to update the look a little bit by using the hourglass ambient lighting powder this is in dim light and i am going to just apply some of that as a highlight but it's not a super shimmery highlighting powder or anything so it just kind of just adds a very flawless almost finish to the face for the lips um, i found a couple pencils that are really close to what i remember was popular back then and first going to use the, the one that i just showed you number 303 by kiko and then i'm going to fill that in with another pencil this is the smart lip pencil by kiko in number 712 it's slightly lighter a kind of kylie jenner lip look i just realized that i didn't put any lashes on so i'm going to put on these ones right here they're not too crazy or anything Okay, so that would be kind of my 90s, very much 90s inspired look. You can still really see the lip liner, uh, which was definitely a trend back then. I remember seeing a lot of girls with the very obvious lip liner. This one is not quite so obvious um, because I don't think anyone really wants to relive that trend, to be honest. But you can definitely still see how mad it is. And I'm going to do a second lip look, I think, because I want to do one that's even more brown. I'm going to take this uh, pencil by Bourgeois. It's a lip pencil and it's called Contour Edition number 12, Chocolate Chip. And I'm just going to fill in my whole lip. I feel like this lip pencil is actually really close to that uh, lip lipstick that I had back when I was in high school. So really surprised that I found that. And um, the other product that I'm gonna layer on top is this pencil lip gloss by Kiko. Uh, this is number 11. This is kind of a glossy look on top. So that's kind of in a more modern way. Like I think back then it was very matte everything. This is going to just modernize the look a little bit, but you could definitely wear it like this. I think this looks really cool. I think I might actually wear this. It's a very similar shade. I'm loving this. <laughs> Return to the 90s. 
Okay guys, so that's it for my 90s slightly revamped for a modern spin makeup look and I really hope you enjoyed it and it was definitely something that I probably would have worn in the 90s if I was a little bit older. It's kind of fun to bring those trends back. It's kind of funny how trends just kind of like cycle, you know? I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments below letting me know what kind of makeup you wore in the 90s. I'll see you guys soon. Thanks everyone. Bye.